Hello teachers, so we are back with my second favorite AI tool at the moment. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and go to eduate.ai and it's going to look like this. Go ahead and uh, log in with your Google account if you want to. And for today, we're just going to go to planning. Okay, notice that I set up to language arts and fourth grade. You can switch this depending on what you want uh, by going to settings. But I'm going to go to engagement activities. I'm not going to cover the rest, just giving you highlights. Engagement activities. And I'm going to just say um, common core standard. And I'm just going to basically bring it from uh, fourth grade standard. So I'm just going to grab it and put it in here. 4.7, right? And I'm going to enhance that, okay, to make it more specific. When I click that, it's automatically going to tell it, uh, give it more information, okay? And I'm just going to say add to workspace. And notice what it's going to do. It's going to create activities for me to be able to use with that, with that standard that I gave it, right? Remember, I used the uh, RL 4.7. And notice that it gave me picture puzzles, quick draw, spot the difference, picture analysis, a, a quick quiz, right? Would you rather questions, uh, deep questions, apply scenario based questions, riddles, and so on and so on that I have the ability to use to make it more interesting and more engaging. And now that we have all these resources, just to give you an idea what else it can do, let's go to uh, cooperative learning, click on it, or you can go gamification if you want to, but let's go here. And let's kind of create a think per share, right? If you wanted to do that or project-based learning, just click on it and go ahead and say add to workspace. And notice what it's going to do. It's going to create the project-based learning for you to be able to use it in your class with that particular standard that we had. If you remember, it was uh, RL 4.7. So add to aid AI to be able to give you all these different resources, right? Planning, informative objects, independent practice, corporate learning, gamification, everything by just adding a topic or keyword or even a standard. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.